back at it with another rant. Oh, fucking joy, dude. Here we fucking go. All right. Uh, let's just, um... Okay, so I guess Hunter Avalone doesn't like simps. You know, and this is the problem with our society. If women... If women try to do nice things to please their man, they get called sluts. If men try to do things to simply to simply please their woman, they get called simps. Who in the fuck comes up with this stupid, idiotic, millennial bullshit? It's fucking annoying. This baby boomer millennial shit. This fucking pop culture references. God, it's exhausting. Now, for those of you who don't know, simp stands for sucker, idolizing, mediocre, pussy. This idea that a man cannot do nice things for a woman without being called a simp. Okay, if women want men to do nice things for them without being asked to, If men want to have sex with women, then chastising each other for this shit is not going to make it any easier. I grab a Winston Black 100 and just kind of deep breath and oh yeah Hunter Avalone is a sexist wait till you hear the comments he says holy crap I'm like oh hey look Hunter Avalone posted a new video about how he doesn't like simps I'm like, okay, you could just say you don't like simps. You don't have to be a raging sexist about it. Boy, I bet your wife must be really proud, buddy. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, what's up, YouTube? We're doing a rant on the whole simp movement. As a guy, I am offended and triggered. Shut up, you millennial. Fuck you. Okay, seriously. This idea that men cannot do nice things for women without being told, oh, you're just idolizing that pussy. It's like, first of all, that's only one part of the entire female body. Second of all, what's wrong with wanting to do nice things for a woman that you like because you want to see her smile, you want to see her laugh, because you're her friend. Fucking So let's um let's detox with the cigarette right quick. We'll get this shit on the go. Sucker idol that's what simp stands for. So can women be simps too? Sluts idolizing mediocre penises. Like really? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't sound too good, does it, ladies? No, it don't. Being slut-shamed because you're trying to do something nice for your man or male friend, you know? 
Well, that's exactly what it feels like for us men. We're being slut shamed over here for simply trying. Oh, it doesn't work like that because blah 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 blah. First of all, ladies, hear me out, okay? It's ridiculous. Dude. Here we go. And this is why I try not to complain about this movement too much because, to be fair, women do get crap for trying to please their man or find a good man, you know? Women get slut shamed for being nice to men. And then, then they get called a bitch for being min, mean to men. So it's like... <sighs> okay. Today we'll be talking about everyone's favorite subject, simps. More specifically, why simping is unhealthy and the consequences of simping. Now, I know the topic of simps is a little old now, but this has been a topic that I've been wanting to actually discuss for quite a while, and I finally feel like I have enough here to really talk about it. Now, for those of you who don't know, a simp is a sucker idolizing mediocre Pussy. Keyword. People who spend a bunch of money donating to these e-thought Twitch streamers. Simps. Guys who are willing to give up anything they may want just to please a woman. Simps. You know what, Hunter? Right off the bat, I think you're jealous, bruh. Right off the bat, I think Hunter Avalon's jealous that women just do it better sometimes. Right? Seriously, Hunter, if you... If you yourself were a game Twitch streamer and people just gave you money because of your gender and because, you know what I'm saying, you wouldn't be complaining. So right off the bat, Hunter Avalon, you sound super jealous, bruh. Super jealous. And you know what? I get it. Like, women have a hustle about them. Women can have money thrown at them just, just for being a woman. And you're jealous of that. But you know what? If it makes the guys that are giving the money to these Twitch streamer girls happy, and nobody's getting hurt, it makes the guys happy who are donating the money, and it makes the girls happy because they get the money, and nobody gets hurt as a result. Who the fuck cares? A guy who actually thinks women should be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen? Simp. Oh, now he's being a, a jealous sexist. You heard it here first, folks. According to Hunter Avalon, you're a simp if you think women deserve respect. Excuse me? So you're telling me, Hunter Avalone, that your mother doesn't deserve respect? That your dad should just beat the shit out of her and make her cook in the kitchen all day? Is that what you're telling me? Fuck out of here. <sighs> Furthermore, Hunter, dude, if, um... You wouldn't talk to your own wife like that. If you wouldn't talk to your, your own mother like that, why would you do that in general? And this is this is the frustrating part of it. You know how many times I've heard women complain about how they want guys to want to do nice things for them without being asked to do so? But if guys are being male shamed because, you know, they're respecting women. Ooh. Like this, this is the problem with it. There are some guys who respect women to just get laid. 
Then there are some guys who respect women because they actually care. The ones who actually care get a bad name for the ones that don't give a shit. And the whole SIP movement revolves around it in general, like, holy fuck, this idea that you can't treat a woman like a sexy and empowered goddess because you're a femme. You're a femme. Uh -huh. You know, one of my uh, grandparents on Facebook, she posted, my grandmother posted something on Facebook about how my granddad bought her flowers and, you know, does nice things for her. You know what she said in that post? She said, and I quote, after all these years, my other half still amazes me and surprises me. That's how you treat a lady. <sighs> you know, this idea that if you respect women, you're a simp. It's just, it's fucking frustrating, dude. Okay? As somebody who genuinely cares and respects women, dude, if I gave a fuck about getting pussy, I could get it like that. I'm a good looking dude. I got muscles. Huh? I'm a YouTube celebrity. I can make people laugh. Right? I pull out one of my zany voices. No, seriously. I'd walk up to a chick and be like, Hi, would you like me? Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> she might be like, Oh, that, what? That was unexpected. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap, YouTube. You heard it here first. Like, okay, according to Hunter Avalon. Just to please a woman, simps. A guy who actually thinks women should be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen? Simp. Okay, here's the idea. Here's the thought. Why is it that women are the ones stereotypically that belong in the kitchen? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with a guy taking charge, for instance? I mean, like, babe, you've had a hard day at work. You're tired, you're pissed off, you're moody from all the chicks you hate working with. So you know what? Kick off your shoes, I wanna massage your feet. Tell me about your day. What's wrong with that? Or being like, hey, you know what? Mr. Amazing's gonna cook his woman the best fucking meal she's ever fucking had. He pulls out a bottle of pink champagne. He's being classy, romantic. And oh my God, she just doesn't know how she got so lucky to find the perfect one. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? What the fuck is wrong with wanting to respect women? Because here's the thing of it, Hunter. I am sick and tired of the gender-based bullshit that men have to put up with because of shitty attitudes like yours. You want to know why women think we're such assholes? Because, if I quote what Hunter Avalon said right here. Be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen? Sim. Okay, women should, should in fact, okay, fuck this simp bullshit. Women deserve just as much respect as men. If you're a decent person, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be treated decently. Jesus fucking Christ. Your girlfriend's feeling chicken Alfredo for the evening, right? So you know what you do? You go to the liquor store. You get a nice a nice wine to pair with your chicken Alfredo. You pick up two bottles, right? Because fuck it. Have a couple glasses while you're cooking. Yeah. You sit there and you put on some romantic music. And after you get done massaging your woman's feet and buying all the shit that you need to buy, or better yet, here's a thought. Why not cook together as a couple? Why is it always one person or the other? You know what I'm saying? Seriously, you will grow stronger as a couple if you cook together, right? You know what I'm saying? Cooking becomes a lot funner when you do it with your other half. It becomes a couple's activity instead of relying on 
you know, some couples do that. Some couples have a system they have worked out where they're just like, well, I'll cook if you do dishes one night and then we'll switch off the next night. Okay, that works. That's called compromise. But right off the bat, Hunter Avalon made this video that says he does not like simps. And according to Hunter Avalon, if you respect women and your views towards women are not sexist and old fashioned, you're a simp. Really? You would not be saying this crap, Hunter, if men were the ones that had to fight for their rights the last 200 plus fucking years. Now, the whole concept of simps really took off after this video went viral earlier this year. This really annoying video that I'm sure just looking at it instantly has that stupid song stuck in your head. The OK Boomer girl supporting Bernie Sanders going viral on TikTok. Yeah, that's what started the whole simp thing. And I'm not going to lie, that's kind of some impressive shit. I mean, could you imagine if you kickstarted your career all because you were able to do OK Boomer? Please subscribe to my Twitch Prime. I'm not here to hate on this vi Right here, right, right around. Th th he does have a Twitch, dude. He does have a Twitch. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like, Jesus Christ, Hunter, if you made the kind of money that Twitch girls made, you wouldn't be sitting here saying, Oh, I hate simps. <laughs> if anything, you'd be like, Hey, guys, you know, thanks for uh, supporting my Twitch channel. I really appreciate it. Oh. And for one second, Hunter Avalon, and to any man out there who hates simps, so the idea that if you respect a woman, you're a simp. Okay, put yourself in the woman's shoes. Put yourself in the female gender's position. And ask yourself, how would it feel to have to beg your other half your counterpart to do nice things for you and at the same time ladies okay if you want your man to do nice things for you and you drop subtle hints ladies subtle hints do not work with guys I'm sorry it's the truth women want to learn how to communicate with men better and understand the male sex okay be more direct with your communication and if men cannot pick up on that shit then they're not good listeners but going back to the rant, if men want to learn how to communicate better with the female sex, guess what? Listen, subtle hints are hard to pick up on. And it's a quote from Bill Barr, the comedian. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, women will sit there and you'll be watching Netflix and chilling on the couch. And then your woman will look at you and go, kind of cold in here, isn't it? And your husband, your boyfriend, whatever, will look at her and go, yeah, it is. And then she'll sit there and make this pouty face like. And a man will sit there and go, what's wrong, honey? What's on your mind? Nothing you wouldn't understand. <laughs> okay. Well, talk to me when you want to talk about it. So it's like, okay, if it's cold in here, what do you want your man to do? Turn up the heat, grab a blanket, cuddle up closer, what? Talk to us. But better yet, if men are being attacked because we try to please women, well, women get attacked for having sex with men, it's complete horseshit, man. Oh yeah, that's good coffee. I'll pour myself some more coffee. That's why the title of this video is Fuck the Simp Movement. I could get adult pussy at the drop of a hat if I really wanted to. I'm a good looking dude and I know how to make chicks laugh. Okay? 
And on top of that, I'm a YouTube celebrity. All I gotta do is go to a bar, have a couple drinks, and then just pop off with some smart ass type shits. You know what I'm saying? I'm a funny motherfucker when I drink. <laughs> of course, I don't need alcohol to be a smart ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's beside the point. I will get me an adult girlfriend when the time is right. I'm more focused on my career and improving gender relations. And sitting there chastising men for wanting to respect women is not going to improve this shit. It's only going to make it worse. Very annoying chick. I'm just going to use her as a bit of a Kickstarter for my video on Sims. So I I'm going to use this video as a Kickstarter towards this video that I'm making right now. After this chick went viral on TikTok and she realized that having an army of Sims is actually an extremely lucrative business, she hopped on Twitch where she posted this absolutely pathetic rant where she hardcore encourages simping. And I'm sure she has no financial incentive to be encouraging simping. But when some okay, here's the thing of it, Hunter Avalone, dude. Like I said earlier, how would you feel? How the fuck would you feel if you were a woman and you had to face the problems that women face on a daily basis? You have no idea what it's like for women to go through this crap, do you? The idea that a woman wants to be respected. Oh, holy shit. Ask yourself, Hunter Avalon, what if your wife was a piece of shit to you? What if your wife disrespected you, belittled you, embarrassed you, treated you like shit? You would fucking hate it. And then as soon as she said, as soon as she said, hey, babe, you're being kind of mean, I would appreciate if you were a little bit more respectful towards me. What would happen then if she said, well, I'm not a simp, so screw you? At that point, you'd be asking yourself, why am I still with her? If she's going to be rude to me. Again, this video just comes off as Hunter Avalone being really sexist towards women and being super jealous that female Twitch streamers make more money doing what he does. Someone is talking about guys simping for a girl. I just don't understand what's wrong with, like, worshipping a girl. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? That's, okay, all right. All right, and you know what? Okay, in the defense of Hunter Avalone, to be fair... There are some women who take advantage of this. Not all, okay? There are some women who take advantage of really nice guys to gain something they want, and it's deplorable, okay? This is why the simp movement might have been created, is for the fucking stuck-up little cunt throbs that take advantage of nice guys and just use them for their money. You know, because women can be manipulative like that. All they have to do is, oh, thank you, you're such a sweetie. And then they just casually go, oh, thank you, you're so sweet. Oh, thank you, you're the sweetest guy. Oh, my God. And he's sitting there going, oh, she likes me. Oh, yeah, she touched my arm. <laughs> but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with a woman wanting respect from a man. You know, this is something that men just do not understand because of our place in society as men. Yeah. So the simp movement has its positives and its negatives, just like any other bullshit movement. 
you know, the negative movement shows that we're demasculating men for wanting to be respectful to women. And the positive side to this is that, hey, you know what? If men want to give these Twitch streamer girls money because what they do on Twitch makes them happy, or if you want to give a chatterbait female model coins because it makes you happy and it makes her happy and no one's getting hurt, then who the fuck cares? Who the fuck fucking cares, dude? But yes, in Hunter Avalon's defense, there are some women who take advantage of the whole simp culture to get what they want. Because let's face it, women are boss like that. They are. Women can get their hustle on without having to flash titties, without having to offer pussy, without having to offer a hand job, a titty fuck, or a blow job, or any of that shit. Women do not have to women do not have to offer sex to get what they want. That's just the power of the women, you know what I'm saying? And it's badass, like you know what I'm saying? And there are some men out there who are jealous of that power. Like, oh my god. That's called pussy privilege, my dude. And before you bitch about it, fellas, keep in mind men have privilege too. Men have privilege too, and the sad thing of it is, men can also be victims. You know what I'm saying? And that ties in, of course, to the negative side of the whole simp movement. Is there, like I said, there are some women who take advantage of really sweet guys, and when one guy has been taken advantage of, if you're a really sweet guy and you've been taken advantage of by so many women, eventually you become an asshole, right? It's the same for women in that regard. If you're a really sweet girl, really down to earth, really decent person, if you've had too many guys treat you like shit, eventually you turn into a cunt. That's just how it is. That's just how it fucking is with human relations. You could be a really nice person but the second you get treated like shit by too many people, you're just like, no. <laughs> oh no, Cobra said the C-bomb. I'll blow it out your arse. Freddy, the, the first falsehood here. Now, I don't expect much intelligence coming from this chick who... Hey, God. Nicotine use at a young age affects the brain. Oh, my fucking right. God, dude. That makes me laugh. I am here as your president to proclaim before the country and before the world, this monument will never be desecrated. These heroes will never be defaced. Oh, yeah, because that's a whole other subject altogether. All I agree with Trump 100% with this issue. Like, people are calling the, um, what's it called? Uh, those, the, um, the, the, those mountains in South Dakota. Yeah, they're calling that a racist monument because there's four white dudes on the front of it and because some of them were uh, slave owners. But guess what, assholes? George Washington, our first fucking president, was actually really nice to his slaves. Look it up. Abraham fucking Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Their legacy will never, ever be destroyed. Their achievements will... Who's very obviously just an e-thought booty streamer who happened to go viral because she liked Bernie Sanders. So I'm not expecting anything particularly intelligent here. However, we've only watched this for like five seconds. 
I've already watched this video for two minutes and 17 seconds, and I'll say it again, Hunter Avalon, bro, you come off as extremely jealous and sexist in this video. Like, if you went viral because of your support for whoever you support, As you sit here and chastise this woman for getting money on her Twitch, calling the people who donate to her simps, but then turn around and go, oh, please subscribe to my Twitch. Like, it's so desperate, dude. Holy shit. And she's already just factually incorrect. The truth is, and this goes for whether you're a boy or a girl, you shouldn't be worshiping anyone or anything. There's a lot wrong when a guy is worshiping a girl because. And you know what? What's wrong with that? What? Okay. I kind of feel you on that one. Like, yeah, you know, an unhealthy obsession with a fellow adult is just, it's weird. It's cringe. It's creep fest. But, you know, especially if women and men are taking advantage of each other just to gain access to what they want, money, sex, drugs, uh, meal tickets, etc. I've seen that commercial for no vaping, and I'm like, really? You know what gets me about this crap? When electronic cigarettes first came out, they were marketed as a safer alternative to these things right here. They're like, oh my God, have you tried vaping? It's the newest thing. I'm like, what is it? Oh, it's a safer alternative to cigarettes. My Asperger's. Now they're coming out with all these fucking anti-vaping commercials. Vaping is now being treated just like cigarettes. It's horseshit. Now they got all these, you know what I'm saying? Underage tobacco use has dropped significantly. Now the kids are all vaping these days because let's face facts. Vaping is a lot easier to get away with than actually smoking a fucking cigarette. Am I right? Plug it into the wall, charge it, fill it up with e-liquid, put your coil in there, you're good to go, right? It fits easily into your pockets. I was against vaping when it first came out, but now that, you know... Eh, I tried it a little bit. Vaping's all right. They have some delicious flavors you can choose from. Matter of fact, I have CBD e-liquid in here mixed with CBD hemp extracts and strawberry banana nicotine e-liquid. And the CBD e-liquid is mango flavored. So wait, hold on. Wait. <coughs> oh. But no, Hunter Avalon, you're right to some extent. Um, women and men should not worship each other. But at the same time, okay, if you're in a relationship with someone, what's wrong with treating each other like royalty, huh? You know? If you have a girlfriend, what's wrong with respecting her, treating her like a queen, a princess, and a goddess? And if your girlfriend has a man, what's wrong with her treating him like a prince, a king, and a god? What's wrong with that? You know? After all, you're there for each other, and you know what I'm saying? What does it really mean to worship a girl? Probably obsess over her, probably think about her all the time, worship the ground she walks on. That's not healthy behavior. That's, That's called love, my dude actually coming really close to a celebrity worship syndrome which is a legitimate psychological disorder celebrity worship syndrome has been described as an obsessive addictive disorder where an individual becomes overly involved and interested with the details of the personal life of a celebrity any person who is in the public eye can be the object of a person's obsession but research and criminal prosecution suggest they are more likely to be someone from the world of television well, there is a fine difference between falling in love and being a creepy stalker, so don't get it twisted. And or pop music. So to answer her question, this is the first reason why worshipping a girl and simping 
is bad. It's a legitimate psychological disorder, an obsessive addictive disorder. Well, that's one side of the argument, my dude. Secondly, you shouldn't be worshipping anyone because not only is that unhealthy for your own mental health, but it's actually unfair to the person you're worshipping. Oh yeah, it's so unfair. You know what? How is it unfair to the person they're quote-unquote worshipping, especially when they're making money off of it, dude? I mean, you have fans that worship the ground you walk on. I don't hear you complaining about your fans worshiping you. Let's say, for example, that you're just a raging simp and that, yeah, you're fine with worshiping a girl. So you do. You worship her. You put her on a pedestal. Well, no one is perfect. And what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for disappointment and you're setting that girl up for failure. La you cannot set anyone up for failure. Failure is a part of success. It's the yin and the yang of life. You have failure, success, love, hatred, happiness, sadness. Okay, these are the emotions that just counteract and balance each other. Uh, and you know what? No, you're right. Not everyone's perfect. And you may end up setting yourself up to be disappointed. But guess what, Hunter? Disappointment's a part of life. You know, it really is. What's up, YouTube? We're just tuning in to a live video. Hunter Avalone made a video called I don't like simps. And in this video, he explicitly said that if you respect women and think that they don't belong in the kitchen cooking for you all day, then you're a simp, according to Hunter Avalone. And I'm like, what? Holy shit, dude. In fact, uh huh, let me just rewind that little clip for you. They may want just to plead is a little old now, but this has been a topic that I've been wanting to actually discuss for quite a while, and I finally feel like I have enough here to really talk about it. Now, for those of you who don't know, a simp is a sucker idolizing, mediocre P word. People who spend a bunch of money donating to these e thought Twitch streamers, simps. Guys who are willing to give up anything they may want just to please a woman. Okay, here's the thing about Hunter. When you're in a relationship, you have to make compromise and sacrifices. So sometimes that means putting your dreams and your ambitions on hold to help with your situation. For example, if you and your girlfriend have been dating since high school, and you and your girlfriend are now going to college, but guess what? Oops, so lordy, you got your girlfriend pregnant. Nice going, jackass. So now you and your girlfriend have to sacrifice and commit to raising that kid and put all your hopes, dreams, and ambitions on hold because you have a child now. Simple as that. It's ridiculous. Simps. A guy who actually thinks women should be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen? Simp. No. Yeah, you heard him say it right there. Whether you're a boy or a girl, you shouldn't be worshipping anyone or anything. There's a Honestly, I guess it depends on how far the worship goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's just a silly little crush and they like the videos or the content that they put out and that's as far as it goes, who cares, dude? Who the fuck cares? You know, and in this same video, he's giving this chick so much shit for making money on her Twitch streams. And then he turns around and plugs his Twitch. Holy shit, dude. 
There's a lot wrong when a guy is worshipping a girl. Because what does it really mean to worship a girl? Probably obsess over her, probably think about her all the time, worship the ground she walks on. That's not healthy behavior. That's actually Well, it can be if he's healthy about it. Again, it depends on how far the obsession goes. You know? There are plenty of adult women around town that I've seen. I'm just like, God damn, dude. Like just the other day, I held the door for a cute goth chick walking into Loaf and Jug. She's like, oh, thank you. I'm like, yep, not a problem. I could have checked her out when she was walking into the door, but I didn't. Because if you're going to hold the door for a woman, be polite about it. You know, don't be one of those fucking creepy pigs that just holds that just holds the door women just so you can stare at her ass when she walks by like damn no don't be like that okay yeah just say it and that paid off because as I was leaving the store first she catches a whiff of my bond pheromone soap my god of war pheromone beard oil and she's like, hmm, you know? And then by not ch- by not checking her out as she walked by, you know, you know what happened? Okay, when I went in line to buy a, a big lighter, the cashier lady, you know, she saw me and she was like, oh, hey, you know what? I got you on this uh, lighter. I was like a couple cents short, but she saw that I was being a gentleman and it probably made her think, hey, you know what? There were still some good men left in this society. And as I was leaving out of the corner of my eye, I saw this chick that I held the door for checking me out hardcore, dude. And she was just like, damn. So I did, like once I noticed that she was checking me out, that gave me the social cue to say, hey, you know what? She's checking you out. Check her out. Yeah, buddy. Like, even though it's the biggest double standard on the planet, if men check out women and women are, are the slightest bit creeped out by it, they can be like, oh, no, ew, uh. Again, that's just that power that women have in our society. And here's the thing of it. You want to complain about it, then put yourself in the woman's shoes for a second. But again, this idea that, oh, obsessing over a woman is not healthy. To a degree, yes. Obsession over a woman cannot be healthy. It depends on how far that obsession goes. Like, ish. Like, if you, if you have a picture of this chick and you fantasize about dating her, but that's as far as it goes, you know, that's one thing. This is ridiculous, YouTube. The idea that, oh, if you, if you respect women, you're a simp. Do you know how many fucking times I've heard women bitch and moan and groan and complain about men are all the same, men are just pigs, men are just assholes. I'm like, gee, I wonder why. Half of it is because there are some real pieces of shit men out there. And the other half of it is because of cultural bullshit like this. The idea that, oh, well, if you're respectful to women, you're a simp. I'm like, oh my fucking God, dude. If you're a guy who genuinely thinks this stupid shit, let me ask you something, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Let me just ask you a question. Like I said, fellas, how would you feel if you wanted to be respected by a woman, you wanted respect from women, but she didn't give it to you because... She was afraid of being called a simp, sluts analyzing mediocre penis. Huh? See what I did there? <sighs> Fucking ridiculous, dude. Fucking ridiculous.
actually coming really close to a celebrity worship syndrome, which is a legitimate psychological disorder. Celebrity worship syndrome has been described as an obsessive addictive disorder where an individual becomes overly involved and interested with the details of the personal life of a celebrity. Any person who is in the public eye can be the object of a person's obsession, but research and criminal prosecution suggest they are more likely to be someone from the world of television, film, and or pop music. So to answer her question, this is the first reason why worshipping a girl and simping is bad. It's a legitimate psychological disorder, an obsessive addictive disorder. Secondly, you shouldn't be worshipping anyone because not only is that unhealthy for your own mental health, but it's actually unfair to the person you're worshipping. Let's say, for example, that you're just a raging simp and that, yeah, you're fine with worshipping a girl. So you do. You worship her. You put her on a pedestal. Well, no one is perfect. And what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for disappointment and you're setting that girl up for failure. Lastly, if you worship someone... Here's the thing of it, YouTube. Here's the thing of it. Failure and disappointment are a part of life. Okay? That's just the truth. One, the odds are you're more likely to change for that person or sacrifice your own desires for that person, which isn't always a bad thing, but if it's motivated purely from an idolization of that person, then that's certainly unhealthy. You want to strive towards success for yourself. If you're striving to succeed and make money, lose weight, get healthier, look different, whatever, if that motivation is coming from impressing someone else or impressing a girl, that change is not going to be genuine and it won't last. So again, it's not fair to you. Girls, is there well, to be fair, you should not change because of someone else. You should want to have to change because you want to change. You know what I'm saying? And it's true. There are women and men out there who do this crap. They, they try to, they try to change the person they date with. And us guys, we hate that shit. We do. Like, she wants Mr. Right. Maybe he's not her ideal Prince Charming, but with like a little bit of grooming, he can become the man she wants. Okay, first of all, if he's not a if he's not a complete piece of shit, if he's not a complete piece of shit, and he actually makes an effort to respect you, you know, maybe he chews his food too loud, or maybe he 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 snorts when he laughs, or you know, who cares? So yes, change for yourself, not because. You know, saying you're trying to fucking impress someone. Oh, man. to be worshipped all right not saying specifically me okay but girls should be worshipped simps are her core audience so to encourage her audience to continue worshipping girls okay to be fair though I mean women should not necessarily be worshipped Okay, this is where the problem with simping comes into play. The idea that um, in order for a woman to be respected, she has to be worshipped. Not necessarily. You know? Not necessarily. You know, women who say shit like that don't fully realize, here's the red pill of the red pill thought for the video if women are worshipped in our society 
think about all the pressure that puts women underneath to always look their prettiest, to be ladylike and prim and proper. It's ridiculous. If women don't wear makeup, they get told, oh, honey, you would look so much prettier if you wore makeup. Excuse me? Or if they do decide to wear makeup, they get told, oh, honey, you wear too much makeup. It's like, how the fuck are they supposed to win? And that it's fine to worship women or whatever, that's benefiting her financially. So let's actually break this down. If you're worshiping a woman, why? Why are you worshiping her? Is it because she's a woman? Because that's just flat out wrong. And I hate to break it to you, Hunter Avalone, but that's how it's been since the dawn of time. The female form is worshipped in our society. That's just how it is. And while this gives women a lot of privilege in our society, it also comes with a lot of consequences. And that's actually not equality. Or is it based on her character and who she is as a person? All whip. You want to talk about equality, Hunter Avalone? In this video, you said it quite clearly that if women are respected, you know what I'm saying? You, you expect women to respect men, but you turn around and say that women don't deserve respect. That's what you said in this video, dude. Ridiculous. Women do not deserve to be worshipped. All women deserve to be treated as equals. So it really comes down to why you're worshipping this person. I still don't think you should really be worshipping anyone. But hey, sometimes, you know, that line can move a little bit. For example, I'm a married guy. I love my wife. I'm a simp for my wife. Except I don't actually consider myself a simp. I prefer the term SIF, which means sucker idolizing fire, P word. I also think that this entitled. Oh, this idea that, oh yeah, you know what? Screw you, Hunter. Seriously, bro. You, you act like, okay, obviously you're going to have that, uh, that attitude. That's your wife. But you want to act like your wife's pussy is the bomb, that it's the best pussy you've ever fucking had, okay? You haven't slept with every chick on the planet, so how do you know for one? And two, of course you're going to say that about your wife. And, okay, if you love your wife so much, why did you say, and I quote, let me just um, rewind the video to the beginning of it. This has been a topic that I've been wanting to actually discuss for quite a while, and I finally feel like I have enough here to really talk about it. Now, for those of you who don't know, a simp is a sucker idolizing, mediocre P word. People who spend a bunch of money donating to these e thought Twitch streamers, simps. Guys who are willing to give up anything they may want just to please a woman, simps. A guy who actually thinks women should be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen? Sim. You heard him say it. You heard him say it. How the fuck are you going to sit there and say you love your wife, but if women who want respect and they ask for it and then men give it to them, they're simps. Okay? Like, I don't know, bro. You, you kind of contradicted yourself on that one. You know, you really did. You really fucking did. Right? That being said, ladies, that being said, you want to please your man, okay? You want to do something to blow his mind, okay? Just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. If he's watching the game with his guy pals, you know, you know what you do? I'll tell you what you do. You make a plate of nachos, Make a sandwich, grab a couple of cold beers, sit down in his lap, crack open the beer for him, crack yourself open, you know, with that other beer, crack open the other beer, you know what I'm saying? And just sit in his lap and share some nachos and some sandwich with him, man. I'll tell you what, all his guy friends are really sitting there going, oh my God, he's so lucky. Ugh, my wife hates it when I watch sports. And your husband is going to be feeling like a king, baby. 
that being said, fellas, if your woman is doing stuff like that, you know, it, it doesn't have to be sports related. Just out of nowhere, you know. If you're sitting down watching TV with your woman, it's out of nowhere. Out of fucking nowhere, ladies. Get up, grab your man a beer. Huh? See what happens, right? Fucking A. He's going to look at you like, did hell freeze over? Am I in trouble for something? Did I piss you off? Are we going to have a conversation about some shit? No, dude. Just I don't know. Where, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it all the time because he'll expect it. You know? So what's in the blue moon? Get up. Walk to the be beer fridge. And, you know what I'm saying? Grab your husband or your, your other half a cold one, right? That being said, fellas, that being said, if your woman is doing little things like that to make you happy, return the favor, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, if your woman has two tickets to this all-female talk show, and she's like, babe, can we go? It's a, it's, it's a talk show about the feminist movement, and I think it'd be super awesome of you if you came with, and you're like, even though in the back of your mind, you would, you're, even though in the back of your mind, you're like, I would rather shoot myself in the foot with a nail gun. You'll say, you say, sure, honey, why not? So your wife will drag you along to this bullshit, bullshit talk show. You have women who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, all sitting there for 35 and a half plus minutes, bad mouthing men, talking about how trashy they are. And you're sitting there, the, the one dude in the audience next to your wife going, Oh my God, somebody kill me. Why the fuck did my wife drag me to this shit? And you know that your opinion doesn't fucking matter as they're sitting there trash talking men about what pieces of shit they are. And if you so much as dare stand up and say, um, excuse me, excuse me, ladies, okay? You're being kind of assumptions and sexist with the way you're talking. Um, if all men are pieces of shit, then how come I'm here with my wife listening to you hags go on and 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 on about what pieces of shit we are. And furthermore, how would y'all like it if men had a show like this? Just men drinking beer and working on cars, farting and burping and scratching themselves and talking about what bitches women are. Oh my God, ladies, you would fucking hate it and i guarantee you if your man made you go along with him to that shit i guarantee you you'd never hear the fucking end of it your wife would be sitting there in the fucking car right home going oh my god babe why did you drag me to that sexist male show that oh my god those they were just the absolute worst right and now your girlfriend wants to go shopping after that so you're like oh great so now you're walking around the store, you know, Mr. Supportive Husband Man of the Year, and you do it because you care. You know, you do it because you love your woman, right? And then it never fucking fails. Your woman runs into somebody, one of her best friends, oh my God, and she's going to fucking sit there and talk to her female friend about nothing for like two hours. Just, Ridiculous. And the whole fucking time, it's her female best friend that she secretly hates because she's got a better life and her husband's richer. So, of course, her female friend's going to be a stuck-up cunt and brag about all her successes. Well, my other half took me out to dinner the other night, and it was super amazing. Then they gave me back rubs and told me how pretty I was. And, oh, by the way, did I mention my other half got a promotion at their job? They came home with a brand new sports car. Oh, my God. I'm so lucky to have them. <laughs> and you could see your fucking wife getting pissed off with every fucking word she says. You could see it in her fucking eyes, that fire, that inner female Lilith. She demon coming out like, oh, you, you can see Pandora's box opening up. And you just know that the whole fucking car ride home, your wife was going to sit there and bitch at you about her so-called best friend of me that she fucking hates. 
when are we going to do nice things? How come you never take me out to eat? How come you can't get a promotion? How come, how come, how come, how come, how come, how come, how come? And the whole time you're just sitting there as the man going, okay, if I'm such a piece of shit of a guy, how come I sat there for an hour and a half listening to those slags go off on that stupid fucking talk show and listen to them fucking badmouth us men for an hour and a fucking half. Kept my whole fucking mouth shut the whole time. I didn't say a fucking goddamn word. I didn't look up at you and say, honey, can we? I didn't make up an excuse. I didn't make up any excuses to uh, get you to stop talking to your female friend of me. Like, that is something I've never understood about women. If you dislike the bitch, why the fuck are you friends with her? And then you bitch because, oh my God, being a woman is so hard. Well, some of the shit you do to yourself, some of the shit that women do makes being a woman hard. Ugh. Yeah, same thing is king shit, okay? You're a king if you're or if you're not afraid to sin. Hey guys, nicotine use at a young age affects the brain. There you go. Mm. Nicotine affects the brain at a, at a young age. Oh, jeez. I've heard about these. I've never seen one before. Yeah, well, now you have. Yeah. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. You heard it with your own two ears. Simping is king shit. I remember when King Arthur went off to battle and the only thing motivating him was his woman that... All this bullshit can piss off. Hold on, we have to take a coffee piss. And to be fair, women aren't the only ones that do this crap. Sometimes men do it too. They'll complain because their woman ain't good enough. And it's like, dude, if your other half shows that they give a shit and they respect you, they may not have much, but they do their own little special thing to show you that they care. Eh. You could be in a worse relationship. He Holy shit. There are some people who simp after women. Hell, I think there are Christians who are God simps. The all or nothing attitude doesn't contribute towards finding actual truth, and instead it just pushes people towards a side. But girls should be worshipped. All no. right? No. It doesn't mean you're a simp. Yes, it does. All right? Simping isn't bad. Simping is king shit, okay? You're a king if you're, or if you're not afraid to simp. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if you're not afraid to treat women with respect, that is pretty king shit. I, I agree with that Twitch streamer 1000%. This idea of, oh my God, if you disrespect women, you're a pig. But if you res respect women, you're a simp. Okay, then how the fuck are we supposed to treat them then? Okay, real talk. Like, where's the CBD at?
Because again, ask yourself, how would it feel to be disrespected by women and then told, well, that's just how it is, guys, suck it up. If women were chastised for respecting men, we'd be having the same conversation, but the roles and the genders would be flipped. That's just how it is. There it is. You heard it with your own two ears. Simping is king shit. I remember when King Arthur went off to battle and the only thing motivating him was his woman that he... Holy shit! King Arthur was a simp! Maybe simping is king shit, and not in a good way. I'm putting my foot down right here, and I'm saying no. 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 Simping is not king shit. Here's a simp who is suing Twitch right now because he's claiming that these sexually suggested female streamers caused him harm. Okay, that right there, really. A sex addict suing Twitch claiming that sexually suggestive females caused him addiction. That's like suing Marlboro for getting cancer. Get the fuck out of here, dude. No. And, you know, this is the kind of crap that gives simping in general a bad name. It's because of fucking idiots like this, dude. Are you serious? Like, yeah, you, you're going to sue Bud Light because you're an alcoholic. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, my God, dude, this is exhausting. So let's take a look at this king shit. A sex-addicted California man is suing streaming service Twitch for $25 million for exposing him to so many scantily clad women and in turn exacerbating his condition and co- You know what you could have done, guy? Turn off Twitch, okay, and go get some counseling. Because what happens if you sue Twitch and you lose the case? You're going to be sitting there going, you know, it probably would have been a lot cheaper to get some counseling for your addiction. It would have been to try to sue this big multimedia, social media platform. Oh, the things that make you go, huh. The things that make you twitch, like, yeah, dude. At some point, you, you ask yourself, wouldn't it have been easier to, um, I don't know, get off of Twitch. Causing him to hurt himself. Twitch has extremely exacerbated his condition by displaying many sexually suggested women streamers through Twitch's twisted programming and net code, making it nearly impossible for the plaintiff to use Twitch without being exposed to such sexual suggestive content. And this simp claims he injured his genitals and destroyed his computer while using the streaming service. Well, if you mutilated your genitals while watching Twitch, then Misa thinks that's on you. Misa thinks you were jerking it too hard. So you're basically suing Twitch for your own personal actions. How the fuck did you damage your computer? Did you come on your computer so many times that all that fucking semen just seeped into your computer and short-circuited it? Like, he ruined his hard drive by getting hard. <laughs> so this simp was on some crazy king shit and actually is claiming now that he injured his genitals because of all of the hot booby streamers on Twitch. There was another article that showed this guy was following... Wait, Twitch has hot booby streamers? No. Really? Hold up. Let's see. Um, let's see. Hot streamer Twitch girls with big tits. No way. What? Well. He was not lying. Holy but Jesus, dude. Um. Uh, God damn. Just god damn. What? 
who's this chick? Pocket main naked bit tits. What? what dude? Huh? The kind of shit you can't show on YouTube. <laughs> Because YouTube is very picky with the nudity, with their nudity policy. Yo, hold up. Hold the fucking... What color are her eyes, dude? Oh, damn. Those are really pretty. Really pretty blue eyes. That's what's up. Yeah, buddy. God damn, dude. Mother of God, dude. God damn, dude. Just God damn. Boobies. Adult boobies. Yeah. <laughs> Good gravy, dude. Damn, if I wasn't on YouTube right now. <laughs> wink, wink, hint, hint. Uh, okay, I got distracted. Okay, back to the... Uh, back to the video. Be streamers on Twitch. There was another article that showed this guy was following like 700 female Twitch streamers. Jesus Christ, dude. Who the fuck? Okay, if you have the time, if you have the time and energy to follow 700 adult female Twitch streamers on Twitch, holy shite, dude. Like, I'm subscribed to, like, well over 400 YouTube channels on YouTube. I don't have time to watch them all, which that's all right. It gives me plenty of content. So, like, if I've watched one YouTuber, I'm like, well, let's see what this YouTuber is up to. You know what I'm saying? But, um... And I don't think he was following any male streamers. So, yeah, he's a simp. But, hey... I guess this is king shit. He's just scrolling through Twitch, drinking his soy, drinking beer, objectifying women, you know, all that good shit. Like, oh yeah, I am worshipping this girl so hard. I'm a fucking king. But seriously, I wanted to show you guys this story because it's really, really fun. Well, how is it degrading to women if you respect them? Because wouldn't degrading women mean you disrespect them? You have sexist, old-fashioned views? How does that work? I'm confused. Funny, and I think it's very indicative of how pathetic simps really are. And for this bitch to be up here claiming that simping is king shit, this ain't king shit, my friends. So what are the consequences of simping? Well, we kind of already went over the negative consequences to your own mental health. However, there's also a different consequence that I don't think too many people actually talk about. When men simp, when men are willing to lay down everything they have just to appease the pretty woman with the boobies, what this does is it breeds entitlement. I mean, it breeds entitlement among these female Twitch streamers. Okay. That could be said for both genders, to be honest. And to be fair, women and men do this crap when they're looking for a potential dating partner. They offer what they have in exchange for a potential life partner or mate. That's called the dating scene. And some of these men acknowledge that these super hot Twitch girls are never going to meet them in real life. But for them, it's fun to pretend and be like, oh, yeah, you know. And if nobody's getting hurt and everyone's of age, 
and it makes the men happy and it makes the women happy. Who the fuck cares? At the end of the fucking day, what it comes down to is, okay, if Hunter Avalon had the power women have on Twitch to make all this fucking money, he wouldn't be sitting here going, oh, I hate simps. Uh, simps are bad. <laughs> I'm sure plenty of you have seen this clip, but I still want to look over it for context and look at this clip as an example of what happens when you simp. When these e-thought Twitch streamers get comfortable with the fact that they have hundreds of thousands of men who are so horny they're willing to just fork over their entire paycheck to them, that... Okay, you know what, Hunter? If you had hundreds of thousands of horny women who were willing to do the same to you, you wouldn't be complaining. And to be fair, and for the, all the ladies out there who are Twitch streamers, not every chick on Twitch is like this. Okay, I, I, I see the chick you're talking about. I know who you're talking This chick who's just sitting there like, hey, hey guys, what's up, you know? Yeah, okay, I know the chick he's talking about. I recognize the clip. I recognize the chick. Okay, I've seen the clip before that he speaks of. But not, okay, this is the kind of crap that gives women Twitch streamers a bad name. When you got women who abuse the kindness of some men to get what they want, okay, it not only makes women look bad, but it makes simping look bad. Think about it. breeds entitlement it breeds this spoiled princess mentality well to be fair to be fair the same could be said about men okay if men get treated by women a certain way if they're spoiled in their endeavors you know it can create entitlement in men too you know that's just it's the fucking truth dude Here's the deal. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing, because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. You okay, this chick right here that Hunter Avalon's talking about, this right here is classic e-begging. Okay, she's sitting here looking all cute and sexy, trying to look flirtatious, you know, trying to use that female worship to beg for money. Okay, that's e-begging versus what I do on YouTube. I don't ask for donations. I don't give a shit if people donate to me. If they do, cool, awesome. It's appreciated. But if they don't, I don't care, dude. You know, just you cool cobras watching this video is enough. It's ridiculous. You can get a full meal for a lot cheaper than $20. How privileged is this bitch? But a sub is $5 at maximum in whatever your currency is. Oh my God, also get a sub from subway for five dollars not the best but five dollars and and they claim five dollar foot long but taxes vary upon location you know then hey in turn you can also get a little caesar's pizza for that same price but that's beside the point turn you get a good sub for five bucks and you don't have to contribute to this e-beggar and it doesn't matter how broke so I'm going to take some super beets. I've heard about this stuff before, so I'm pretty excited to try it. So you just add a scoop to your louder once a day? Yep. It's that easy. What it's actually going to do. Broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have $10, truly. If you... Really? 
Wow. Yeah, this right here. This is people like this give other people a bad name. Like, here's the thing of it. Every celebrity that's on social media will have money donated to them for their services and for being entertained. That's beside the point. But this chick right here is so e-begging, it's not even funny. You don't have $10. You probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working. You should be trying to earn money. Listen to the disgusting amount of entitlement here. Come on, everybody just has five bucks laying around. Yeah, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and plenty of people are unemployed, but come on. You can see how she is embracing this mentality where she thinks that she is owed the sub, where she is owed the money. She's providing a stream for free and people have the option to donate. If they want to help out, they can donate to her, but she's acting as if that's expected. Probably because she's come to expect it because of all the thirsty men that follow her. So like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub? It, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. All right, sit, sit your ass down, Dave Ramsey. Even if people do have $5 and then they say they're broke, they don't have to donate to you. I know shit. I do streams also, okay? I get donations and I'm very grateful for them, but I would never show up on a stream expecting donations. I Exactly. When I show up on stream, you know, all I expect is that my fans are entertained and that people subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, ding the notification bell. I just think the fact that this dumb bitch is up here preaching about how, oh, it's not that much. And here's the thing of it. Like, I don't expect anyone to do anything outside of that. You buy a t-shirt, you know, you send me cool stuff in the mail. You donate to my PayPal. You donate to, to my uh, Super Chat on YouTube. I don't expect my fans to do that, but my fans do that stuff because they like me. Okay? Much money. It's just 10 bucks, 5 bucks. Come on, if you don't have that money, you're a loser. And you don't have to show those things to like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just leaving a comment. Just leaving a comment on my video saying, Hey, Cobra, dig the work, man. Keep doing what you're doing kind of thing that's so entitled and this right this is where i agree with hunter avalone 100 percent. this chick is extremely entitled and this is the kind of crap that gives simping and twitch streamer girls a bad name here my friends is the and not only that but just the whole culture of that we live in where yeah and here's the thing of it do you think us celebrities on twitch and youtube or born in born into the uh, the famous YouTube? No, 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 no. Okay, a lot of us have to work our asses off for years before we start getting recognition for the work. Consequences of simping. But there you guys have it. Be a king. Don't simp. Be a king. Treat women decently. Treat women with respect, but don't sacrifice all of your own goals and desires just because there's a booby e thought that you think is pretty. Please, please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all soon. <gasps> I think my wife's home. I gotta go! Oh, wait, but you do, after he said that, after he said that, after he said that at the end of the video, Sims is a little old now, quite a while. And I finally feel like I have enough here to really talk about it. Now, for those of you who don't know, a simp is a sucker idolizing, mediocre P word. People who spend a bunch of money donating to these E thought Twitch streamers, simps. Guys who are willing to give up anything they may want just to please a woman, simps. A guy who actually thinks women should be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen, simp. Wow. Now the whole concept of simps really took off. After you just said that, and then at the end of the video, you said that men should respect women. You kind of contradicted yourself on that one, guy. Off after this video went by. Ugh. I don't know, dude. Oh. What do you guys think?
Well, you know what? Fuck you and get hidden from my channel. That's what's up. I appreciate the support. I was being, thank you. I was being sarcastic. Okay, sarcasm. Okay, I have the most respect for women. You don't even know. Exactly, punk rock. Exactly. Yeah, thanks for your two pound donations. You're the biggest simp I know. And you know what? I am not going to take simp as an insult. I don't idolize mediocre pussy. I get good pussy. And to be fair, like I said, I could get laid if I wanted to. But I'm more focused on my career and improving the gender relations. Dumbass trolls. No, if you don't need that kind of money to her, then that's on you, dude. Yeah, don't take what I said earlier in the video as context, you know, it's just being sarcastic. And uh, being as I'm a male, being as I'm a male, I tend to have a perspective on how men think, but I'm still trying to understand how women think. And by doing both, you know, and then using it to make a video, you know, Anyways, YouTube, respect women, like I said, be a gentleman. You know how many times I've heard women in the, in the real world say, I wish more men were like you? I'm serious. If I had $100 every time I heard that, I'd tell you what. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you later. And thank you for donating your time and money. I'll definitely see you on the next one.